I've been waiting to make this video in a minute and finally I've got a microphone, an Insta360 right over here. Hopefully we don't barbecue that sucker. A second camera set up and we'll go for a ride and we'll spit some flames and make some noise. But I've been waiting to show this for a while. So this is exactly why my motorcycle is technically illegal in the country I am in on this side of the planet. And that is because right down here, we are missing a catalytic converter. And right in there, as you can see, there is no silencer. Well, let's get out of here before we attract unwanted attention. And let's go make some real flames. Man, the sound of this thing just echoes off these walls. It's nuts. Zero need. There is zero need for this thing to be this loud. And I wish that you guys watching this could understand, like, it doesn't come across through a microphone and computer screens. I'm wearing earplugs and this thing still deafens me. It's stupid. And don't you worry, I'm going to find us a massive tunnel to come screaming through later on in this video. So you have to be careful with you guys because you're hanging off the side and I don't want to go flying through here and clip clip the camera because I've only used it once and that would be a shame Actually while we're sitting here let me give you a quick rundown on the bike so it's a 2021 MT-09 I've had it race tuned by a race tuner near me I couldn't tell you exactly what the deal is there they stuck on a dyno obviously asked me what kind of tuning I'd prefer to an extent and I said loud, obnoxious, make it make flames what did I get? loud, obnoxious, the thing makes flames so I'm super happy with that and no it's not cheap, it's super expensive when you think about it to get your bike tuned properly and to get a full exhaust especially MIV MIV is quite a expensive brand and I had to buy it from Italy and ship it to New Zealand so you can imagine the shipping costs and everything involved and the taxes were crazy but you know what I'll never take it back or would I take it back hell no because the smiles I've got since having this exhaust is what it's all about I mean if you've seen other videos of mine you see I was at one point thinking about selling this thing but since I've slapped this pipe on it's brought it back to life
here we are back on the bridge. The beautiful lights of Auckland City. back in so this is loud as hell those pops are like gunshots in my ears but yeah that guy was really cool i'm sorry if it sounds like i'm shouting now because it's uh seems super loud but yeah that guy was really cool he just told me to slow down a bit because not like i actively try to speed or anything like that we're on bikes so it's easy to like easily do like five or ten over which is what i was doing then which wasn't anything too crazy so unfortunately as much as this video is all about cool sound, there's only so much I can do because I can't let the thing scream to the end of the RPM and lose my license for the sake of a YouTube video. And I would assume most of you guys watching this are pretty similar. There's a handful of lunatics who pointlessly risk their lives and their licenses every day. That's so loud, man. Another two bikes pulled over. Just one of those days as well that sometimes they just have lots of police out. That echo is crazy. Anyway, that pit stop has drained quite a bit of battery, so I might as well cut it here. Just thought I'd go for a quick ride, show you my exhaust. Didn't expect the unexpected stop, but why not? It's a bit of fun. Life is life. And um, like, subscribe, comment.